Hello, everybody. This is Kateri with Kateri's Crafty Ideas, and we are going to do our video today for Stock Your Stash. And I started making tags yesterday, and so I've got them done, but I'm going to show you how to get started with the base of the tag. And then we will get into um, um, the decorating. And so hopefully this will not take very long. So I pretty much have all of my stuff out here. Okay. So what you want to start with is a sheet of paper. And this idea came from Joey uh, Diffie. And um, I had never seen this done. So I'm, um, I started playing yesterday. So um, I will. Oh, it looks like I have two papers down there. I can see it. All right. So you want to start with just gluing two sheets together. Make sure you get them pretty good. Um, and then we'll take another one. And I'm not going to make this one as big as I made the one. You can make this background as big as you want because it pretty much um, is going to determine how many tags you get out of it. So I think I'm just going to do a couple of these. Let's see. So this one I need a top and the side done. So I hope everybody's doing really well today. Um, this is Monday. And uh, um, it started out cruddy, just cruddy. Um, I woke up this morning and I was like dizzy and everything and wobbly. And I started back on, um, I started back on my gabapentin after being off of it. And oh yeah, I was still out. <laughs> I didn't, yeah, it was, it was crazy. So I kind of went over on that one. Okay, so when you do this, well, maybe I'll go ahead and do this. What the heck? I just go ahead and do it. What the heck? So anyway, yeah, I got up this morning and um, got myself ready and went to get my second vaccine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. And um, I got in there and the girl says, can I help you? I said, yeah, I'm, oops, I'm here to get my second vaccine. Dang it. And she says, what time? And I said, nine nine o'clock and she said oh well come on in here let's see if we can figure this out so she goes in she starts you know looking and she said um well this picard says um i put that on the bottom oh well i guess they're making difference um she said this the card says the 25th and i went what so yeah i don't have to be there until wednesday at 9.40, not 9 o'clock, 9.40 on Wednesday. I mean, like, how messed up can you get? <laughs> oh, Lordy be have mercy. So then I go to the bank, and I forgot to sign the back of the check. Then I ran to McDonald's. The girl told me how much it was. I got money out, got to the window, and she says, do you have another dime? 
I thought, oh my God, this morning is turning out horrible. So um, now you're going to overlap this and you can use other paper, but um, you want to make sure you really get the glue on here. Make sure I make sure I get mine clear to the edge because you're going to cut these apart. And and with this uh, art glitter glue, you got to hurry. So, um, yeah, because it'll dry on you really quick. But I, I definitely want to make sure I get these edges. I mean, you can always go back, but it's a pain in behind. So, anyway, what you're doing here is basically making um, this thicker. Everything's in my way. You're all in my way. Get you where you belong. So, as you can see, this didn't glue. Okay, let's get this corner. Okay. All right. So we'll go to another one. And we'll switch this. Anyway, so uh, I went to, to um, I stopped at McDonald's to get um, bacon, egg, and cheese uh, McMuffin for breakfast. And then I went to Hobby Lobby. And when I went to pay the girl, I didn't give her enough money again. It's like, um, I need to go home because my brain isn't thinking. And I drove. But I did fine on driving. Matter of fact, I could look up and see how well I did. But um, anyway, I didn't take my pill uh, that I was supposed to take this morning because I knew that I was going to be driving. And um, anyway, I... Um, I haven't taken it yet because I knew I had a video to do. So I'll take it when I'm done here. But um, anyway, so my husband left this morning and he went to my mom and dad's and he is going to help them move. And I guess he's staying overnight and then he'll come home sometime tomorrow but um, and then let's see Thursday we've got a friend of ours um, that we've known for years that's coming to start on our bathroom Yay! I'm so happy. So I'm offsetting this just a little bit. Get rid of that. Okay. So all of that's pretty much covered. So, except for this one. So I'll cover this. I'll just do this. If I get glue on it, cool. Whatever works. I'm going to glue it there anyway. Um, let's see what else has been going on since I talked to you guys. Um, the one thing that I kind of wanted to tell you that... that um, for those of you that don't know it. Um, so I went to the doctor. I don't know. It's been two weeks ago. And I, she had me get this medication to rub on my foot be, uh, where the pain is. And so we were going to my mom's. 
and we had to stop at Walmart for something. And um, we, uh, I thought, I'm going to look for that medicine. So I look for it. And um, I, it's in the bathroom. I, it's, I can't even remember the name of it. Anyway, um, we, um, now I'm going to switch papers with this. And I, I need my, I want my ruler <clears throat> for this. Um, anyway, it's in a red tube. And um, so I got it, and um, went to mom's and put it on because I had gone to therapy that morning, and my foot was a little hurting, you know, from her messing around with it. And so I said, put that on. Oh, okay. So I put it on. And um, I, after it dried, I put my sock and my shoe back on because I need to wear my shoes to keep my foot from swelling. Because I guess when you have surgery, your foot has lots of nerves that go into it and everything just kind of goes down there and it will swell much worse than any other part of your body. So I put the shoe on and um, I don't know, probably I went into the office to, you know, continue working through all this genealogy stuff, separating what was coming home and pitching just papers and that, you know, like, you know, ads and just stuff like that. And um I guess I'll just use this. Anyway, um, so all of a sudden, I'm sitting on the couch. My mom was in there, and I said, oh, my gosh, you know, and I took my shoe off real fast and my sock, and I started patting my foot because it was on fire. And um, I said, oh, my gosh, somebody get me a cold pack. And so they went in and got one and my sister come in and she says, oh, I'm sorry. She said, I forgot to tell you, you know, be careful where you put that. And um, she told me that and showed me an article or something. That stuff is made with an ingredient that is in cayenne pepper. And I thought, oh, my gosh, thanks so much for letting me know that I had put it in between my toes and on the bottom of my feet, I put it on the incision, on my ankle, you name it. And um, so you can imagine. So for hours, I sat with um, um, cold pack on my foot. And um, it, you know, calmed down and we left and. This thing, there's glue coming out the bottom. Who's that? Oh, my neighbor. Um, anyway, I... Um, what are you doing? No wonder. That was some weird stuff there. It was trying to push its way out. So, anyway, um, we left and... Um, I um, put my shoes and socks back on and my husband says, how's your foot feel? I said, well, it's kind of burning a little bit again. And of course, you're all sitting there going, oh, I don't know what that's from. And uh, so anyway, we were almost home and I said, I figured out why. I said, it's because I put my shoe on and my socks and it had rubbed off onto my socks and so my foot was on fire again go figure so um 
Anyway, I came home and got ice on it and started reading about this and found out that vinegar will neutralize the um, um, the burn. So I um, went and got vinegar and put that on, which was a huge help. And um, never again, I did put it on my back. I will tell you that I put it on my back um, at some point uh, that night. No, it was the next day because I had had a shower that morning. So I didn't take a shower that night. So the next day I thought, well, I should be able to put this on my back and be fine. Well, it was. It was just fine. I didn't, it didn't burn, you know, like it did before. Well, anyway, that night I took a shower and um, it, it was, um, I guess I do have to tear this off. Not good in the shower. So as soon as hot water gets to that, it reactivates that stuff. And I, I thought, oh my gosh, my back was burning again. My foot was burning. And my knees, I put it on my knees. And it's just like, oh my goodness sakes. Um, so a friend of ours that we've known for 40 years, 50 years, whatever. My husband's known them a little bit longer than I have. And because he grew up with them. I mean, he knew them when he was in elementary. But anyway, um, she wrote me and told me she had used the same stuff. And um, that she would, or that she put it on before she went running or something. And it she said when she started sweating that's when when it activated on her and i'm going oh my gosh that that's ridiculous stuff if i remember i'll i'll post it down below and uh, that way you kind of stay away from it because it's it's just crazy stuff so i think now I'm going to take half of this and I'm going to post it right there and I'll post this one right here. How's that? So move my coffee or I'll have coffee dyed paper. Wouldn't that be horrible? Not So anyway, um, anyway, my husband is at my mom and dad's trying to patch holes and stuff because the house is going up for sale. And um, they um, are supposed to be moving today. The movers will be there. They're going into senior living. Don't know how long they'll be there before they go to assisted living. And I hope and pray they've got someone interested in the house that's a fireman. He came or they came to move some stuff out of the house um, into the garage that we can't get out of there. We, we're not strong enough to get that stuff out of there. And um, we're weak people because we have bad backs. And mom and dad have had bad backs almost their whole life and uh, i have degenerative disc disease so it's hard for me to stand for long periods of time without being in pain and um so i have to sit down but i try to exercise and do what i can i can walk on a treadmill i can't walk on concrete it kills my back. So I need to go back to the Y and start doing my walking. I need that so bad. 
but it costs money and I don't have the money right now. So I do what I can do. All right. I like that jagged edge over here on this with this paper. It's music paper. So all we're doing is building, um, just building layers at this point. Um, let's, I've got this awesome map right here. And I was using it yesterday. I love it. And I'm going to be selling this. Where's my... Um, and a, um, I'm going to, I've got a whole book of this that I'm going to be selling. It's pretty cool stuff. I'm just trying to get different sizes that I can that I can use. Um, let's go with this. And then we'll do this side. Okay, one more. I won't use all of these. Of course. Of course, of course. Of course, of course. Let's do a little one. Monroe County. All right. So let's let's uh, let's just glue some of these. Yeah, these make great um, Van Buren, um, which is not too far from me. So let's glue this right here. Well, there's a river on that. Well, this is more interesting. I just try to pick things that are interesting that you might see through the try to get this on the edge because we're going to have lots of different layers and when you go to cut this um, if you don't have it glued really good and yes you can you can get mod podge but I don't I don't like what it I don't um, it would not end up as cool feeling as this. It's kind of like crinkly, uh, but it's a strong tag. Um, Mod Podge just kind of makes it super hard. And so I like, I like this. You can get, you know, the aliens glue, thin it out and brush it on there if you want to do that. But I'm just how I'm doing it. So... I'm just trying to hurry and do the best that I can. And um, I am very much a perfectionist. Um, so I just want to make sure I do, you know, a good job at what I'm, what I'm making. You're upside down. Let's make this, make this right. All right, let's find one here. Says Grant County is what that is. That's Grant County, um, Indiana. And then within uh, the state, for those of you that are UK, I'm sure it's a lot like that over there, or over the pond, anybody, French, France, France or where, Germany. Um, you have your state. Then you have a county, and then you either have a city or a town that you live in. Um, and then you have like precincts. So I live in Grant County, but I live in Pleasant Township, which is within that county. So, it's just kind of weird how they, like, this is center, and I live, I don't know what I did, here's the one I live in. So, see, it says Pleasant in 
I live about right here. Right here where the where the road is, or the, the bend in the in the road is where I live. So not too far from Jalapa or Jalapa or however you want to say it. So we can put this here, but I want to tear off that edge. Okay. Uh, Beach Creek. I don't know where that is. It's in another county. So let's see. Um, my dog. Um, I think uh, his days are pretty numbered. I actually thought about making an appointment to have him put down because he's now to the point where he can walk down the hall and he's losing his bowels. And I know it's time to go, but then my husband says, oh, but he's doing so good. It's like, really? You're not tired of cleaning stuff up? I'm over it. So I've been wanting new car or new flooring and we're not going to do it until he's gone. So bathroom's getting started. The living room is next as soon as we're done with my parents. And um, this is pretty cool because this has got, let's see, I'll go up here. I might want the words. So this actually has words, or I mean, like this is Paris. And there's, I don't know, I don't know how to say some of these. But anyway, there's different cities and things, or buildings on that. So we're going to add those cool, that cool mapping on here. This should be pretty much dry by the time I get done. That's another thing. If you, uh, if, if you, um, oh, let's put it down here. I'm trying to cover up where other, I guess I didn't get that very good. I'm trying to cover up where the others, you know, like come together. So let's do this one. Don't you dare fall. I noticed I'm dropping stuff a lot more than I used to. Yesterday I'm walking, and my problem is, I guess I'm just not focusing, or I don't know, I'm not holding on to it because I drop a lot of stuff at this desk. And um, yesterday I'm walking down the hall trying to do kick a box down the hall because I need a box to mail some stuff to a friend of mine, and um, I dropped my water um, thermos. I was so mad. I took that box and I just kicked that thing down the hall. <laughs> oh, my patients are just, they're just not good right now. Okay, so I am going to use i saw this and i i want to use it but i want to change the color just a little bit oh quit I think I need a new, I think I need a new pad, and this one's pretty fried. Let's 
This will be much better. Uh. Wow. Take this thing down. Stop. Golly. Okay, that's good enough. Yep, I'm spraying on it. I want it to look old. So, we'll let that dry for a minute. I got that done. We'll let that dry and then I'll come back to it. So I saw it laying here. It's like, I want to use this. All right. So we're going to use some of this paper here. because It is so brittle. I have to be super careful. How I I'm glue this down before it rips the rest of the way. Um, I can feel I'm getting stopped up. I guess I didn't take my medicine last night. My great, or my grandpa had, he had super bad allergies. Oh, I, I remember the agony that he went through when he had to deal with those. I felt so bad for him. I really feel bad for him because... Those are nothing to, it's just environmental, and I ended up with it. So things are starting to bloom, and I have to remember that I have to take it. So I still like my spring. Where do I want to put this? I'll put it up here. I have to be super careful. Okay. Now that thing was in really bad shape. So it's looking kind of cool, isn't it? Kind of cool. Weddings in June are oh so beautiful. Yeah, I think this was a wedding song or not the wedding song. It was something else. I used it on yesterday's um, tags. The name of it's over there somewhere. I made sure I used the whole name in the in the tag. Okay, so we have this, and it can go right here. So there's two music papers, and we're just, it's, you know, just want to make sure you cover up all of this bottom paper because um, it's super thin. So you need another layer on it. Um, here's some other music paper that I had. So let's do a long one. Let's tear this edge off. I don't want any edge if I don't have to have it. So much easier than... I'm going to cut some of this bottom off here. Let's go. 
good. Perfect. Uh, oh, I know what else I needed to tell you. Um, I am going to be having a sale of um, some things that I have brought home from my mom's. And there's everything from uh, cabinet cards to um, tin types that are um, in frames. Some tin types are not. There's just such a variety of, let's see, that I've got, I actually have this sitting here. This is a Hummel. And um, so we'll, I'll be selling her. There are, um, what's the name of those? Um, um, what's the name of the thing? I know what it is. Um, is there any other room? Viewmaster. There's tons of, um, well, not tons, but there are. There's a whole box full of probably 30, 50, something. I don't know how many is in there of the, of the slides. And there's a couple of the Viewmaster things. One of them looks like it's one of the original old black ones. Um, I have books. I have James Wick and Riley books. I have um, um, To Kill a Mockingbird. There's the book and the playbill is there. And um, I don't, there's just a lot of stuff that she had. And all of that money will be going right back to my mom and dad. And um, I'm just trying to help them out a little bit here and there. Doing, doing that. So I'm trying to get all of that. I've still got some stuff downstairs that I have to go through um, before I can actually have the sale. So there will be auctions on some of it. And um, trying to think. I don't know. I need to do that like super, super soon. Soon as my uh, we get done moving my parents. And we don't have to be running back and forth and back and forth all the time. Um, he's such a godsend. I'm, he's such a sweetheart because, you know, for him to tell me I didn't have to go. And the reason why he's just sleeping in a sleeping bag because there's nowhere for him to sleep. They don't have, they don't have a bed. I mean, they have beds for their self, but. It's not going to be like that anymore. Where, because we had a, we had a couch to lay on before and that thing was not fun to sleep on. Let me tell you, it was terrible. So let's, let's do this. I think that's enough. And. I hope you're not too bored. Hope you're just, oh, hope you're just listening. Oh, really? Let's try that again. Let's try that again. Let's see if I can get that straight. Good, thank you. So I want it long. And then I can tear it off. Uh oh, I did that crooked. Oh 
oh well i'll put it down here and let's shorten her up here just a little bit yep that'll be just fine oh yeah that's another thing um so i've got the book where the lilies bloom that she had where she found that book i will not know but that is a movie that we watched as kids and it is on i think youtube or nah well it might be but i think it's on prime because i watched it and it was made back in like 79 70 something like that and it's back in the um tennessee hills and uh, that's where i get that fine he's just fine i get that from there because there's that little girl in there and some this guy walks up and he says how's roy luther which was her dad and she says he's just fine so i i do that i do a lot of weird things from movies like they're my favorite things like the one guy I can't even think of his name that was on um storage wars and um he always used to say right cheer and i i i do that so <laughs> i love it but um so this is not covered well there is another one there but i need to cover these two places in this right cheer so see there you go i just did it again so let's go ahead and give me uh, got rid of that um let's see that's going to cover the apple up so i need to make it to tad bit skinnier so let's do this oh no you don't all right so so do love me do we all right so i'm going to tear that off anyway Yuppity yup. Okay. So we will do this. This kind of takes a little bit. That's kind of why I wanted to make a small one. The other one I did last night was much bigger. Um, but I really wanted to shorten this down a little bit more than what it is but why why do that when you might end up with a few more tags right that's right all right so let's try this it's almost dry all right so i'm going to tear that white off of there I'm going to tear this. And let's tear this off. All right. So let's. I could tear this down the middle. Middle works just a tad bit wet. This is all dry. So let's keep that. And let's cover up Grant County. Hmm. I actually could shorten this up. And use the top piece. Okay. 
I did it like that because this part is a little damp. Okay, so I can put that there. It's got my last name on it. Okay. I know what I was supposed to look for at Hobby Lobby. Dang it. I was going to look for a new calligraphy pen. I, um, I've got one here that's wood. And I went to put my nib in it and it broke. So... Okay, there's that. Now, let's, I could, I guess I could go ahead and, let me see if I can tear off this end over here. That was a thin piece. That's good. Love this ruler. And uh, it's called Easy Read Ruler by Victor. It's blue steel, 12 inches. They have an 18 inch that I would love to have. Um, <clears throat> but um, it's a great ruler. It's got, if you don't know how to measure, um, yeah, I'm just going to make, it's got like, um, eighth of an inch, sixteenth of an inch, I mean a fourth of an inch, and then it's got one sixteenth and fifteen sixteenths, and um, yeah, it's got it all measured out here, and then it's got all the centimeters, which I really like. So I was watching a video yesterday, this girl, her, her I asked her what the size was, so she said 20 centimeters by 26 centimeters. So <clears throat> it's pretty good for that because they sure I, they started teaching centimeters and stuff right when um, about the time I was graduating. All right. I can see that's not glued. You're not glued right there. Lift up. It is now. So. I don't know. I better make sure I get this on the very edges. Okay. I can glue that once I get it down. <clears throat> All right. Cool. I think. Are we set? Oh, no. I got that little place. Darn it. This one's wider. Let's use this. Oh, I'm sorry. You have to come off. This has to go here, and I'm going to cut it off about here. All right, let's go ahead and glue this. I meant to put my coffee in a in a thermos, and I forgot my coffee's cold. It's just cold. I don't mind cold coffee if it's meant to be cold, you know, with the ice and all the milk and cappuccinos, and mm -hmm. that's really good. All right, so that's half fire. Whatever. I guess I'm gluing that. 
Okay. Please tell me I'm done. I have this one little spot here I need to cover up. One little spot. And I have music paper. So I do not want to use music paper. So let's use this. This. Let's use this. This, 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 this. We'll, we'll cut it. That's not a very big area. I'm trying to line it up so it's even. All right. So we'll just do it right there. All right, good enough. I I just can't stay on the line. I always slip off. I guess you'll just have to be glued in a minute. Okay. Alrighty. Done, done, and done. Alrighty, let me wipe, wipe this off. And now I need to get, where is my, oh, here it is. It's right here. Put these back in. Now, <clears throat> Um, I'll go ahead and I'll use a couple of these distress ink things, and then I'm going after, I think I'm going to try the pink. Um, I'm going to go after my watercolors. Nope, don't want that one. This one. Um, where? Oh, I was going to say, where's my water? I have water in my pen, but um, yeah. So these are distressed crayons, and I did get these at... Um, Maddie's. I don't surely these. So I'm just gonna spread um you be super careful with these and it's amazing that <clears throat> they um They do better on, you know, with water on them, but depends on the paper that you're using. And of course, I'm not putting gesso on this. But I'm just trying to get color anywhere that I want. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. I almost stuck the crayon in the water. Anyway, the, for those of you that don't know, these are Distress Crayons from Tim Holtz. Or Rain, yeah, Tim. Um, you can uh, buy these at Spectrum Art uh, Creations. That's where I got mine. So I'm just trying to get color in certain areas a little bit more there but yeah I used this yesterday and um, I don't like I mean it's okay I'm gonna put that in there anyway um, yeah 
Yeah, I left it on the paper too long before I wet it down. It got really super dry. It wouldn't move. And I see a piece of, of course, I could rip the paper off, but I'll glue it. Alrighty, so I think that's maybe enough green, depending on what um, that crayon looks like it's in there crooked. All right, so let's use this pink. I did not use this pink yesterday. And we all could use pink in our life. And this color is, is festive berries. I like it. Now thin that out into that. That's parody. Let's make some pink land. <laughs> yep, you can make it as dark as you want or yeah. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh! My head. Let's put a little right here. See how that, you can see where that crown was right there? It just depends on the paper. And I actually think that is part of that book paper that I first put down. <laughs> it's not covered up. But I know there's another layer back through there. So I probably shouldn't have done that. But. Just trying to thin this out. I don't want to do that. Let's see where else. Let's do it up here along. Oh, no, let's not. Let's not say we did. Let's do this up here. I think you can still see it. doesn't look like much right now, but, you know, when you cut it up, it's, it'll be, it'll be pretty cool. So I think I want some pink over here. That's good enough. Oh, dang it. I don't want to do that again. Let's see. So I pretty much have pink in areas that I don't want to do overkill. Okay. That's good enough on there. Now let's do some yellow. And then we'll get my watercolor paint out and we'll just go crazy. Alrighty, so let's do some yellow. That's good enough. And we'll do a yellow here. This is much better than yesterday. I like, I like this a lot better. Okay. I 
I will tell you that um, there was a hidden video on one of my videos. And I think only one person has um, sent me a message about it. So if you haven't um, you haven't seen that video, you need to go check it out and comment because it's pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Yeah, I had I had people, friends calling me and laughing about it. Okay, so uh, there's nothing right here. So hey, we're gonna put some yellow. We'll just put yellow all across that part of that map. Just because I like it. Nancy. Cool. I know there's nothing down here. So. We'll give you a place to live, Mr. Yellow. And thin that out to nothing. Maybe I'll just stick yellow here. Do it again. Do it again. Again. We're going to do it again. Okay. All right. So let's get our. Um, going to have to put some more water in this. It's almost empty. I'll lay that right there. Right here. And. Put the lid on this. Okay, so we're going to put these up. And none of these are in the right folder after yesterday. They just went back into a, a um, and when uh, you order these, they come by number packs. But from what I understand, they are going to start selling these individually. And I'm really kind of happy about that because there's some colors that I don't want. So you can buy them individually now. So we're going to. Okay, so I need that water. And I will need a brush. A brush. A brush. So let's get that. Let me pop over here. I forgot to get my my uh, where are way down here. Get out of here. I thought you were at the top, but you're not. Okay, so for those of you that are super new, my watercolors are fairly cheap. So, um, and I don't use them enough to. I guess if I guess if I had a better pack, I might use them, but these aren't the best at all. So I know I want a light green, which is that one here. I know I got them out of the way, but I want this one for sure. Let's get enough water on there. And then let's go with yellow. Boy, that green really turned that green. 
I use this yellow a lot when I use it. Okay, so I don't need that. Don't need this. And I definitely don't need you. So let's move this. Just have some fun. That's going to be a lot of yellow. get some green water that soak that up. I better be careful. I like the sometimes if you you get the tip of the brush it really kind of adds to the whatever you're trying to go for you know you know let's see I think I'll just blend all that together Um, I think I'm going to try to go with that. Yeah, there you go. I really want the tip of that coming out. Very cool. Uh, adds to it a little bit. It seems to be just a tad bit wet. Let's get a little up here. So I know I'm going to cut these. So this is going to be See what I can get with this yellow. May have to add a little bit of this. Where's that yellow? You better get up there. Uh, okay, I guess that's all for now. Put that on there, put that over there, put you in there. And I'll have to go wash this out. And we'll put that on here so I don't dump it. Now, all that is left to do on this is dry it. And should take me just a minute. There's a spot there. I guess I can add another paper on the back there. I didn't even see that till just now. I know there's two papers, but I can always add a paper on the back. So the back is looks like that. I may go ahead and just put another layer on the back and then I'll be good to go. So, um, anyway, let's go ahead and dry this. And hopefully you won't hear this. I 
I just want it to be really dry when um, I get ready to put some stamping on here. We're already an hour and 10 minutes. What a trip. Okay, I think that's good. So here, you can go right back there. All right, we have got some stamps. I got these from spectrumart.com, spectrumartcreations.com. And they're from Stamperia. Love these stamps. They have the best stamps. So, anyway, we have the crack and this one. And this is one of them I want to use right, right here. So, I may use that other one also. So, I'm going to use the black um, archival ink. So, everything comes from spectrumart.com. So, spectrum. I can't remember to say creations i don't know why this is sticky and i only want to use part of it i'm not going to use all of it okay here we go here we go walking down the street Ta -da. And we'll do one right up here. Um, let's use the bottom this time. Looking good. This over here. Let's see, isn't this cool? Just put that on the back of your hand and just stamp a what? <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, so we have four of those. Let's see if I cut there. And there you'll get part of that. Let's do one more up here. I don't know that those will stamp, but they did. Wow. Okay, so now I have to do this pretty quick so it doesn't ruin my stamp. Where are you at? Right here. Uh, this is uh, stay stays on stamp cleaner. See, all clean. I'll do it again, just to be safe. Now, your clear stamps um, will not clean like this. They will, um, archival inks will um, um, damage, or damage, or not damage, but it will, um, what was I going to say? It'll turn them color. So, all right. So, let's, I'm going to let that dry over there before I cover it back up. So, I've got another Stamperia stamp and a music, but I don't want it. 
I do want this butterfly. We are going to use the butterfly. So, oh, let's move you out of the way because I don't need you at the moment. Oh, crud. <laughs> Where'd you go? Why did I do that? Okay, where's my cleaner? It should clean it off. Let's just see. There's some of the stupid stuff I do. You guys should have been telling me, no, no, don't do that. Ta-da, look, it's all clean. All right. Sheesh. Let's try it this way. Yeah. Guess I have to use our the cleaner on my fingers. <laughs> Tell me that stuff isn't good for any everything. It's awesome. One butterfly. Let's put another one right here. That way when I cut it, there'll be a half a butterfly on each tag. Let's put it here. Very good. There's another one. Let's use this one up here. Let's use this one here. All right, something else. Got enough butterflies. All right, so I'll rub this on here. Sorry, I'm having to do this, but I'm I'm um I like my stamps to be clean, and I know a lot of people don't care, but I do. So, that's just OCD. That's what that is. All right, that's good. So, I have a lot of, of um, writings on here already, so I don't think I need to do that. Oh, really? I got the same butterfly over here on this one. Oh, my. But it's it is it's the same one it's just a tad bit smaller what a trip let's do the cracked stamp see look i'm putting it down right I wasn't going to use the whole thing, but I did. Oh, don't mess that up. Let's just do the top part on this one. And you don't have to do your stamps the same way. You can like turn them around. I'm just trying not to get the actual brick wall at the bottom. See, that's so cool. Oh, it's looking cool. All right, I think we need one. I got one there, one there. Oh, uh, yeah, a little bit, but I'm just trying to think of tags here. So that's a tag. That's part of a tag. Let's see. There's one there and one here, which means that one's there. 
There's one there. Let's get one right here in this corner. Okay. And let's try this one over here. think there'll be one here so let's stick this over here okay um i do this or this let's do it this way sideways Alrighty. All done? All done. All right. So now the next thing to do is to deck, or well, you want to cut it, but you will have to find out or figure out um, how wide you want your stamps when you cut these. Let's put this, whoops, wrong way. Right there. Um, so yeah, let's put this over the top and stick this back in here. All right, got that done. So, um, anyway, um, I'll kind of give you an eye. Uh, I think this paper's too long. Yeah, I made it too long. So, I may end up having to. Just cut. Be careful with that, you guys. I wasn't thinking. Um, make sure it's not over 12 inches or you're going to have to maybe use a yardstick. But um, um, I guess I'm not going to cut that at this point. I was going to, but I'm not. Um, anyway, what I'll probably end up doing is figuring out how long I want my um, my tag to be. And then just get a ruler or, um, you know, I think I can tear it. Like if I wanted to, my tag... Let's see, I'm trying to think. This is 12, they're probably about 14 inches wide. So I could, I could just, I want to see if I can tear this. I sure can. So, just when you're gluing your papers together, just make sure that um, you, it's not so wide that it's going to not fit in your cutter. Although, I tell you what, I love this already. This tear down here at the bottom is awesome. So, then you just stick this in your in your cutter make well i'll show you that in a minute and you need to decide how wide you want your tags 
And of course, there's a, this used to be in my mom's. I really don't like it because you can't see the blame numbers. I guess I could, you know what? I want to try something. If I had a white, um, yeah. If you had like a white crayon or something, you might be able to see the numbers. This is ridiculous. Somebody was not thinking when they made these numbers. Yeah, that's just stupid. So anyway, um, I kind of eye it on this thing. My other one is um, right behind me. I could bring it down here if I wanted, but then I can't see the blame numbers. Really? She. So, I'm just going to, I probably am going to want the tag about this size anyway. So, it's a pretty good size tag. So, there's, there's one. These are bigger. This is going to be bigger than my last ones. So that's, uh, I think I'm going to make it a tad bit smaller. They don't all have to be the same size, but you can do that if you want. There's another one. And I should be able to get two out of this. So that's a half. That's a half of a half of that sheet. Man, look at this one with the writing right there and wow. And then there's the males here. My buttons should be here. So in this tag. So guess what? The video is going to be a tad bit longer. And I like this because it's going to be a tad bit shorter. There's another one. Might as well cut them up now. Cut it out. Oh my gosh. Why didn't you cut? All right. And then we should get another one out of this or two Ta -da! all righty cool all right so there's that and then you just want to cut a corner take that piece you cut off flip it over so you see the back of the paper and then make your triangle. So there you have a tag. And then you punch your hole. And now we're going to decorate. So see, I made a bunch of these yesterday. These are in different color. I actually used um, um, a doily. On here too you can't see it because a hey, it won't show up and this one is coming or did not get glued all the way so you just pop some glue back there and glue it I didn't see that on the back of any of these other ones um, so here's one that actually has a doily which you can see it now and that's the name of that song that says Come where my love lies dreaming. And I can't remember the last. There's another one. And look at this one. Isn't that cool? Oh my God, that's so cool. And I'll put piano keys because there's a lot of piano paper. And then there's a brown archival ink with the swirlies on it. Isn't it neat? And some inks, dots and 
just different different stuff so let's go ahead and decorate let's decorate this one i love this i think it's pretty so i have let me move this on here because we don't need you up there and i don't need you to at the moment at all so i have somebody sent this to me or this is my stuff i guess so we're going to this may be stuff i fussy cutted fussy cut it in so we have a beautiful yellow flower that blends into the point that you can't see it now here's a birdie we could put the birdie on there and then i have look at these this is german scrap that you just do a couple snip snip snips here and there um and for some of us that like fussy cutting i go a little bit farther and cut it out a little bit more but most of the time you don't have to do anything but snipping and snip here and snip there so there are beautiful hyacinths which i'm waiting to pop up and look at the crocus that's really spring so that would look cool let's see what other flowers i like here's a tulip i don't know tulips come up a little bit later than these guys i don't know let's just see i'm just looking 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 these are lily of the valley they come up early the, this is up in my front yard right now. Ooh, look at this beautiful. This will cover up way too much, and I don't want to do that. I really am thinking this. I don't know what it is with this thing. You can't move anything around on it. Nothing. And I may have got this stuff from Maddie at Spectrum Art. I'm sure I did. So we have um, some butterflies here. Let's see which one might look good on here. So we've got that one. Or this, which would bring the yellow out into that and the yellow in the back, which is probably smart. Or that one. I actually don't want that. Oh, look at this one. Oh, I think that's too much. That one. I think we need some black or something. Oh, what about this one? See, I almost think that blends in too much with the yellow that's in there. So we'll keep looking. I could even go totally different and do that. But he kind of blends too. What the heck? But I like him. He's cool. All right. I'm trying to just see what cards I have of the butterflies. What about this one? He's cool. I like that one. I like it. I like it a lot. Ooh. He's cool. There's another black and white one. This is a moth. I don't know. Which one of these do I want? I think this yellow one. Come on, you guys. Tell me. Which one? Hurry. Tell me. Tell me. Okay. So I think we're going to go ahead and use that one because there's black and there's some yellow. Um, now I want to... I'll have to put all of that. No, I don't have to put it back. I'll probably work on those other ones. So now I have my little ephemera let's move all of this out to the side 
I do want to find a bird. No, I got a butterfly. Um, where's my pen? This has got to be covered up. Can't have that exposed. Not exposed. Okay. So let's look. I threw these things in here because I needed to go sit down. But they're too big for this box. And they go in a different box. Like all of this goes in a different box. So, and so does this, and so does this. Okay. So, these are tags that I started working on. And that is not supposed to be here. Oops, you go over there. Um, so, I want a tag, a number, or something. And I'm working in a space this big. Because I have too much stuff on my desk. And all of the stuff that's over here wants to fall off. Alright, so if I put that back there. That might be kind of cool. So here's a picture of a lady. It needs to be a little darker. It needs to be a little darker of a picture, I think. These are, I love those little things so much. Spectrum Art, Spectrum Art, creations.com. Um, that's where I got them. They're the, what are they called? They're um, field notes. They are cool. And I hope she could still get them. So here is a stamp. Man, I really like that picture of that lady. I don't have, I don't know if there's any other. You're too big. You need to go into the, the other box. I have got to, and you need to go into the bird box. What the heck? This is a paper clip needs to be finished. What is it doing in here? That's what happens when you have um, surgery and um, your mind goes, it's gone. I want a picture of a lady. I know where I can get one. I just have to get up and go over there and get it. So, let's see. I don't think that. And this is too big, but I could sure cut it down. I could cut it down. Cut it in half. Put this at the bottom. <laughs> do, 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 do. Oh, there's a baby. Baby. It's fabric. And there's a stamp. What would a stamp look? I like the lady. I really like that lady. But I think a stamp would look cool. How am I going to do this? You make up your own stamp cutting. That's what you do. Huh, I love it. Okay. Put that over there. I like the stamp, but I really like that lady. So, um, I don't think there's enough ink on here. I 
I thought maybe if I just darken the edges up on this, that it might, it might show up a little bit better. Okay. All right, do I want to do that? All right, I'm just going to ink it and we'll see. There's one. And this can go back over here. And I've got her done. I actually am sitting here looking at this. Make this tag, not a tag. Let's see, that might, that might be better. So I can cut this off. <laughs> I made it a tag, but it's a lot smaller. Okay, so that goes behind, that goes behind. This needs some distressing. Okay, so now let's do the tag. On the back of this tag, this one, um, other one, which wouldn't have been the back of that other sheet that I just cut up. So when you turn the tag over, you're going to see this. If you want to, like, go in here and kind of, you know, distress the back of this a little bit, all I'm going to be doing is probably um, slide these in a pocket. So that way, when they turn it over, it's kind of finished in the back. And plus, it added another layer on top of the two book pages that I did and they're pretty strong but what I like about these is there's a little bit of empty spot in there and you can kind of hear it it sounds so cool so um I don't know what it is with wrinkly crinkly things but anyway so we have that and I am going to maybe Glue this up higher and probably cut that corner off, I guess. I don't know. Don't know what I want to do. So I can raise that up. If I put that on there. Mm, I could just let that hang off too. You know, it's not that big a deal. That might look better. All right. I don't want that to hang off. Maybe I'll just stick it in the middle. That might be better for the top one. Okay. We're almost done. We're almost done. I'll decorate this one and we will call it quits. Okay, so there's that. And then I want to place this back on. That'll be the last thing that goes on. So I want that up there. Kind of need this to be like that. So let's glue. Trying to hold on to it so it doesn't go anywhere. Make sure you get the edges of whatever you're using. And 
and then I'll turn it around and glue from this side. Can't tell if the glue is coming out. Make sure you get your points. If you're using German scrap, which is what this is, it's a reproduction of what it used to be back in the, I think, 40s or long time ago. Get back up here. So that's what I'm trying to get the, trying to get the points of the flowers because you want them to be glued down really well. You don't want to tear them. Okay, I didn't get the crocus yet, so that can, and this one, and the leaves, and there you go, all righty, so, hmm, whatever, look what I just did. Come back up. Come back. Come back. I know you're not glued yet. Oh my gosh. Try not to tear it. You only have a very short time to work with this German, or I mean with this glue. Come on. Thank you. Okay. Ugh. So that is going in there. Now I can glue this down. Alrighty, and we'll put some glue on you. Glue you back down, glue. Okay, cool. That was close. That was really close. Okay, so we have this lady that I want on there. And we'll stick her right there. Don't know where I had her before. And I think I'll just put that right over the top. There's that, and I'll go ahead and stick that down there. And you know what? I think I'm actually going to make that a little tiny pocket. Something can stick out of there. Cool. So we'll put that right there. And we are done. So once you get your base and everything done, it doesn't take that long to decorate as long as you have stuff you want to put on it. Come on, get in the glue bottle. Thank you. So the only thing I have to do is um, put a um, eyelet and then my, um, oops, put my uh, eyelet on. Um, 
put the eyelet on and then thread my um, ribbon through there. So that's our tag for the day. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'm sorry it was so long, but you know, that's the way it goes when we're crafting. So um, everybody have a blessed day and um, we will see you later. So thank you. If I can find my mouse. Bye, everybody.